Are you welcome to geography class 12? Today we are going to study an important, fascinating topic that the nature and scope of human geography. My dear children, as you know, geography as a field of study it is integrative, empirical, and practical. What is empirical? Means based on the observation or experiences. The reach of geography is extensive and each and every event or the phenomenon which varies over space and time can be studied geographically. Earth comprises two major components, namely natural or physical and human or cultural. We know natural geography studies physical environment and the cultural or human geography studies the relationship between the physical or natural and human worlds. Also the special distributions of human phenomena and how they come about the social and economic differences between different parts of the worlds. We are only aware of that fact that the core concern of geography as a discipline is to understand the earth as home of human beings and to study all those elements which have sustained them. Isn't it? Children, in due course of time, geography got subjected to dualism. Means, the theory that of mental and physical, the debate started whether geography as a discipline should be a lawmaking called nomothetic or ideographic. You might know what is nomothetic. It is the study of scientific laws and ideography means the study of particular scientific facts or it is the individual experiences of human nature. Clear? Under physical geography, the physical environment of the earth is studied. Similarly, under the human geography, we read the interrelationship between the physical environment and socio-cultural environment that created by human beings through mutual interaction with each other. Children. In physical geography, we speak about landforms, climate, soil, vegetation. But in human geography, we talk about the occupational structure, types of houses, roads, and railway networks, industries, density of population in different parts of the earth. Friedrich Ritzel, a German geographer, defined human geography as a synthetic study of relationship between human society and the earth surface. Synthesis here means a combination of whole. Similarly, Alan C. Semple, an American geographer, described human geography as the study of the changing relationship between the unresting man and the unstable earth. Try to understand. Now, let's we see Naturalization of humans. Human beings interact with their physical environment with the help of technology. It is not important what human beings produce and create, but it is important with the help of what tools and techniques do they produce and create. Clear? All of you know the technology indicates the level of cultural development of society. Human beings were able to develop technology after they developed better understanding of natural laws. You see, the understanding of concepts of creation and heat helped us to discover fire. In the early stages of their interaction with the natural environment, humans were greatly influenced by the nature. They adapted the dictates of nature. This is so because the level of technology was very low 
and the stage of human social development was also primitive. This type of interaction between primitive human society and strong force of nature was termed as environmental determinism. What? Environmental determinism. At the stage, due to low technological development, human beings were listening to the nature and afraid of its fury for which people were worshipping the nature. Similarly, now let's see what is humanization of nature. The students, gradually the people begin to understand the environment and the forces of nature. Clear? With, the, with social and cultural development, humans develop better and more efficient technology. They move from a state of necessity to a state of freedom. They create possibilities with the resources obtained from the environment. Nature provides opportunities and humans avail of these opportunities which is called possibilism. So this humanization of nature made the people possibilism. Okay, the children, today's classes start. Next class again, we will go to the next part of this topic. Thank you.